Hello, it's Hakeem Jeffries, House Democratic Leader and Representative from the 8th Congressional District in Brooklyn. The founders of our great country understood that society would benefit if we incentivize and embrace creativity and innovation. That's why Article 1, Section 8, Clause 8 of the United States Constitution gives Congress the power to create and maintain a robust intellectual property system in order to promote, in the words of the framers, the progress of science and useful arts. When I was the inaugural co-chair of the Congressional App Challenge in 2015, we started with 187 congressional districts hosting app challenges in 32 states. Nearly 1,700 students submitted apps that first year. Eight years and nine challenges later, the 2023 Congressional App Challenge saw 374 members of Congress. 84% of the House of Representatives host an app challenge in all 50 states and many U.S. territories. Over the years, the App Challenge has grown tremendously, with nearly 60,000 students creating over 16,000 applications since its launch. This year, we are celebrating the 10th Congressional App Challenge. Students can begin submitting their applications starting May 1st, and applications are due on the Congressional App Challenge website by October 24. 2024. Students are encouraged to submit any piece of coded work, such as a mobile application, website, game, extension, or robot, as long as it was created up to one year prior to the deadline. To learn more about the App Challenge, what you can submit, or to check if your member of Congress is hosting an App Challenge this year, head to congressionalappchallenge.us. I also want to take the opportunity to thank Congresswoman Anna Eshoo for her incredible work throughout the years, inspiring the next generation of STEM leaders in her role as co-chair of the Congressional Internet Caucus, where she has seen the App Challenge grow since its inception. Anna Eshoo has been a leader in the innovation economy, and America is better off for it. God bless you. God bless our future innovators, and may God continue to bless the United States of America.